it says logarithmic, but in reality it it should say easy. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I kind of blacked out, guys, and, and this I cannot apply the rule like when you don't know what to do, you take derivatives because this is not the derivative. This is an integral, right? Mm -hmm. So what do I do, guys? Maybe I expand out. Okay, let's expand out. What is it? So do I have a line underneath, guys? X, dx, what is it? How do I expand out? X squared. X squared. Minus 2. Plus 2. Plus 2x. Minus 3. Minus 3. Beza will do it like this. Right, Beza? Yes. And this method never fails. It's a good one. X times x, x squared. X times anyone? What is it? Negative x. Base x answering. Oh, negative x? Negative x. Oh, because he said that? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. 3 times x? 3 times x is 3x. 3x. 3 times negative 1? x plus 2. Plus 2? I mean, just no, 2. No, that, that'll be if you were adding, but I uh, say times, right? All right, times. then it's just like minus 3. Minus 3, right? Yeah. Now you add this one. 3 x minus x is 2x, right? Mm -hmm. And then minus 3. See so what I mean? So this 2x is, part, is coming from here. Alright. Then you split into two, three pieces. It's going to be the integral of x dx plus, please help me guys, plus, like this, right? And then this, what is it? 2 integral of just 1 dx, right? Mm -hmm. Last part, last part, this one, minus 3 integral of 1 over x dx. Do you see guys? This is so easy. What is it? Guys, I mean, I should, I'm wasting my time here. What is it? x, x squared square over, two. over 2 plus 2. This special one. x. 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 Minus three, a special one. I don't know if I So easy, right? Mm -hmm. I guess everyone in the class knows how to do this one. I guess. That's my guess, guys. Do you think I'm right? I'm betting a hundred dollars that everyone knows how to do it. And the last one should be a piece of cake. If someone misses this one, I will be ashamed, like so freaking ashamed. All right. Guys, I think the girls are winning because the girls go to the front and like they rock. They're making us look bad. Well, actually, Sorb, when like, yeah, he's standing for the man, right? Representing the LTO. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Alright, there's a guy, Storm, faster. Brandon, I think you are going to make us up nope. leaving. Yes. Nope. No, Brandon. Alright, so who wants to be? Alright, uh, let's do... Cody, you can do it, man. All right, go ahead. Nah, this is, yeah, split it into one, two, three, four integrals, and we'll help you do each one of them. Okay. I think oh, this go that one. this is called a formulary problem. All right. Careful. Oh. Got it, man. You're going to split it into four, and each time you write one, try to pull the constants outside, okay? Don't forget the DX, don't forget the DX. I'll set to you. Oh, there you go.
Switch it to an exponent, switch it to a, an exponent form. All right. Equals underneath. Nice. Ask them, if you don't remember, you ask them, what is the integral of tangent of x? What is the integral of tangent of x? Uh, no, that would be the derivative. Oh, oh. That's a special one. Do you know it or do you do you want the people to help you? Yeah, I may need some help. Uh, log of x? Is that log? Yeah. Absolute. 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 Yeah. Are I bring the exponent down? No, that will be the derivative. So you add one to the exponent. Nice. So we raise that one. You raise that one. Okay. Write x. Okay. No, who said five thirds? Oh, I did. You add one to the exponent. How much is one third plus one? I'll, I'll give you a short answer. No, you add one. Like, three plus one, you add them up. How much is three plus one? Four. Four thirds. Oh, it's the two thirds. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right, give a clap. To Cody. Did you notice? Did you notice that when Cody asked what is the integral of tangent of x, Bates immediately asked? She answered right away. All right, all right. Just say, I'm just saying. All right, here we go. Derivatives. Woo! Derivatives. Select the ones, guys, that say that I can do it. Just help me with this five because this I can do it. Okay. Go ahead. A. Do you think you can do A? Polynomial? Yeah? Piece of cake, right? Trigonometric? Yes. Let's do trigonometric. Super fast, okay? Super fast. I'll give you 30 seconds to finish the trigonometric. 30 seconds. This is really 30 seconds problem, right? Finish it right there in the reader. Write the answer in the reader. So you don't have to copy everything. Write the answer right there. 30 seconds, okay? Whoever gets it right, gets five extra points in the test. But don't copy from the, from the partner, right? Just do it on your own. five points but you made a mistake. Can I give you a hint? Can I give you a hint? You are a sinner. What about that? Let's see. Three second. No. no. What's the derivative of the second? Do the you the derivative of the second? Is is itself? It's it's no, it's tangent of x times secant of x. Oh, secant and tangent, yeah. Okay. Five cosine seven. Almost! Almost! You only have a tiny little mistake at the end. I don't understand what they're wrong. What is wrong? 
Yeah, yeah the derivative of secant is not tangent. Where, where's your answer? No, that's wrong. Oh, they can't say mistake that. Uh, that coding. Oh, that's also wrong. You have the same mistake, guys. What? Are you sure? Yeah. That's supposed to be a you got it right. Yes. You got it right. All right, that's it. That's it. Let's do the let's do the problem, right? First, let's recognize the effort. Let's recognize that sine square plus cosine square is the same as one. Now I'm going to take the derivative. All right. Derivative of secant is secant of x tangent of x beta. It's this is the derivative. Okay, make sure. Okay. Five. Derivative of tangent? Secant. Secant square of x. Derivative of sine? Cosine. Cosine. And derivative of cosine is going to be minus, so I'm going to put it up from minus seven times sine of x. And derivative of one is? Zero. Zero, Zero. that's it. Wow. 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 I think you forgot the x right here, right? Or something. Well, I turn, I just turned sine squared x into one, and I just left it that way, and I didn't turn it into zero. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> yes. Can we leave it as like seven times negative seven? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. This is an easy. This is a beautiful problem, and I'm going to prove for sure either this problem or something super similar. Cubic root of x to the seven divided by. <laughs> Swift root of x to the third. Even though you do you see fractions, it's not going to involve fractions. Like even though you see fractions here, it's not going to involve fractions. Alright, who has an idea? Separating. First, first you rewrite it, R for rewriting. And then I will take derivative when I'm after I rewrite it, okay? So you write it as what? Ln. Ln of? X to the seven thirds. X to the seven thirds. Very good. So far, so good. Minus. Minus? This one. Like here or like here? No, like there. The second. No. Right here. Minus. Ln. Ln. Of x to the three over five. Three fifths. Can you explain to them what you did louder? Because three over five. No, tell them. Well, in the log property rules, when you do log of a over b, you can rearrange or rewrite it as log of a minus log of b. So that's why I did ln of x, and I rewrote that as 7 to the 3 because it's the inside divided by the outside. Did you get that, guys? The inside divided by the outside, all right? Still one more. R for rewriting. One more. The exponent, the logarithm, is a beautiful property. Exponent logarithm. What is it? This guy goes as a huge boy right here, right? Remember? Ln of x. Remember that we're not taking derivatives. It's just a property of the logarithms, all right? What else? Minus. Minus 3 over 5 ln of x. Am I ready to take the derivative, guys? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's take the derivative. Y prime equals the 7 thirds is a number, so it's a constant that is in front of a, a function, so it stays right there. 7 thirds times derivative of ln of x is? Yeah, one of Gosh, you're getting better. You're ready for a test. No. Minus? Mm -hmm. Three fifths times? Point of rex, and that's the final answer. Yes, you can simplify it. I understand. Right? But if you write this, I'll give you full credit. I'm not a mean professor because I'm not really testing your algebra that much. I'm writing, testing your calculus. I'm going to start testing your algebra as the semester goes more. See what I mean, guys? You can do, you could have done this as, you could have simplified this, you subtract the exponents, right? And you could have done it that perhaps faster, but that's also a good way of using the properties of the logarithms. Did you get it or you were lost? No, I got it. Okay. Tell me.
tell them loud, loudly. I got it, guys. I got it, guys. <laughs> oh, take that, right? <laughs> oh, man, the other one, if you get it, if you don't get it, I'll get so pissed off. <laughs> y equals 5 e to the x. What is y prime? 5 e to the x. Just the same, right? It's like so freaking easy. There is one person in the class who probably cannot do it. Only one person. Does he exist? Yes. Oh. Remember he went to the board and he didn't know what the derivative of e to the x was? No. <laughs> the, guy, the guy that Kylie called out. Oh, oh yeah. That guy. There's the I think he felt so bad, right? Like, oh man. I, I think he was so confident. So, yeah, that's the income of e to the x. I don't know. Like, and, wow. All right. Product rule. You want to do product quotient chain or a combo? Combo. A combo. A combo because that will be everything, okay? Let's do combo. Combination. And in fact, I'm not planning to do a product rule, a quotient rule, or a chain rule. I'm planning to do a problem that you combine all of them at once, okay? All right. Y equals sine of x cubed plus x squared divided by x sine of x. Try it. So... Tim, send me a email saying that you have five extra points. Okay. If you get it right, I'll give you ten extra points in the test. Mm -hmm. If you get it right right now. <laughs> yes. Scratch that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being too nice. <laughs> I'll give you fifteen points. need someone whose whose jeans or pants are broken or torn. They have a hole, you know, like on the knees or something. So everyone in the classroom is. No, did you? Oh man, Chris! Oh, but they have a patch under, so they're not really ripped. Okay, all right. Uh oh. <laughs> all right, there you go. No. There you go. No. You can do it. Okay, just go ahead. You'll do it. I'll help you. Remember? Like, Cody said, ah, I said, oh, come on, Cody, you can do it. Like, you no, can do it. Okay. <laughs> Please. All right. There you go. If you don't, remember Big Daddy? Big Daddy takes... She doesn't know about Big Daddy. <laughs> but remember the portion rule? All right. Okay, let's go. Just start the... You don't have to finish a bell now. Just start it up, okay? Big is bottom, so you write the bottom first. Just the bottom of the. <laughs> but she doesn't remember Big Daddy. Oh. If you explain it to me, I don't have to do a little bit of Okay. Ask her to tell you about Big Daddy. Just, just, just a sentence, and you put the initials here, right here. Big. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ask her. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Ask her. Big Daddy. 
page mama <laughs> to drink beer. Oh, very good. So now the B, yeah, go ahead, tell, tell oh, yeah. So bottom derivative of top minus top derivative of bottom. So I would take this, which is bottom. Very good. X times sine of X. Stop right there. Stop right there. Look at me. You're doing a great job, okay? <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. So the derivative is the bottom. Done. The derivative of the top. Top, all right. So times. Mm -hmm. the derivative. So do I put like derivative? No, just go ahead and take it. So it's cosine. Very good. Oh, except that because except that she was going to put minus. She was. You would be right if this were an x, this is cosine of x, and you're right. But it's not an x, it's something complicated. Therefore, you need to do something that's what? Times the derivative of the inside part. This is the chain rule, right? You see what I mean? All right, so times. And before you do that, hold on, before you take derivative, tell me, does the derivative involve one term or more than one term? More than one term. When, it, when it's more than one term, we need something to start with? Pa. Parentheses. Parentheses. All right, put the parentheses. Open a parentheses. There you go. All right, keep going. Yeah, what is that? No, almost. The derivative of x cubed is? 3x squared. 3x squared. Plus. There you go. See, you are remembering, all right? Minus. Please, guys, encourage her. Say, tell yes. us. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. It's mine. <laughs> Do I put the square bracket? No, not yet. Just sign. Sign up. Sign of x cubed plus x squared mm -hmm. times, times the derivative of the bottom. But the bottom is... You'll need the product rule for the bottom. So you're going to need a... Do you think you're going to need a, bra a, a, a parenthesis, yes or no? Yes. Okay, open the parenthesis. All right. Now, do you remember the, the product rule? A little bit, maybe? A little bit, right. Let's call this the first. And let's call this the second. Remember the, the product rule? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So can I write it here? No, just just do it right there. Just do it right there, okay. First, dot times. Except that now you're missing everything should be divided by, divided by no the whole the whole like oh, from the whole here thing. all the way up to there divided by as then because maybe that you don't remember the exit. Divided by the bottom square. Um, do I write it like the square? Yeah, just yeah. you said, repeat with me, okay? Big Daddy, Big Daddy takes, mama takes Mama to drink beer. To drink. Okay, now say it louder to me. Big Daddy takes Mama to drink beer. Alright, now say it, but without looking. Big Daddy takes Mama to drink beer. Now say it to them. <laughs> Big Daddy takes Mama to drink beer. You got it. Give a clap. Another clap. Woo! Guys, we're done. We're done, right?
Can we do it? Let's do higher and implicit. Which one you guys want? Implicit. No. <laughs> implicit. A nasty implicit one. A nasty one, right? X e to the y. Um, uh, oh, I like this. Equals y to the x. No, x to the y. What this? Yeah, x to the y, that one. Nice. Find y prime at 1, comma 2. I say, shoot, what do I, what, what? I don't know. You take derivatives. And in the left hand side of the, the equation has two sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. You guys agree? It has two sides, two hands. The left hand side of the equation. It looks like the product rule, right guys? Mm -hmm. The right hand side looks like, no, that's not the power rule. No. Instead of doing that, <coughs> we're going to apply natural logarithms to bring this y down. Here, I do need to bring this y down because I know what derivative of e to the something. Derivative of e to the something is just e to the something times e to the something. But over here, this is not an e, so oh shoot. So this is like giving me a headache, right? So what you can do is take take something in both sides. What is that? The, the natural log. Take natural log in both sides. In both sides. So let's go ahead and do it. Ln of x e to the y equals ln of x to the y. Yeah, like I took the ln, so what? Oh, and then you use the properties. What? There is a beautiful property right here. Bring the y out. Do they need a room? Well, they brought us water. Aww. Oh, and some okay. some water. You can come and have a seat if you wish, guys. Yeah. These are my real analysis students. So like real analysis is, is a subject that is like below algebra. That's like uh... all right. So what what do we do with this y, guys? We bring it down. We're not taking derivatives yet. We're just using the using the properties, right? And over here, what is ln of a times b? Like something times something. What is ln of what is ln of a, B. It's what? Say it louder. L N A. L N of A. Plus. Not minus. Plus. Plus. L N B. First of all, all of you guys that are here, I love you. You know why? Because you're making an effort, right? Even I know some of you have to work, but you are here. That's that's a good thing. Like I take into account. In fact, I might give you like one extra point to all of you in the test. <laughs> all right. So All right, so let's do it. So let's bring this one down. I'm not taking derivatives. I'm only using the properties of the natural logarithm. So this is y, ln of x. You guys agree? Yeah. How about here? It's going to be what? Yeah, ln of x. Ln of x. Plus, plus ln of e to the y. Now you remember, <coughs> ln and e are the worst enemies. Each time they see each other, they kill themselves. What is ln of e to the something? What is like they kill each other? Like it's like something you see your rival with that. Like you see your grandma with the guy, and like oh my goodness, you know that guy, right? They kill themselves, and the answer is only why? Why? Right? So this problem can be rewrite rewritten as ln of x plus plus y, y. y equals y ln of x. Good. Did I take derivatives or I haven't taken derivatives yet? Derivatives. Now I'm ready to take derivatives, right? I just rewrote it. Very good. So let's take derivatives right here. Derivative of ln of x is? The base n. Derivative of ln of x is? 1 over x. 1 over x. Cody. Derivative of y? Y prime. Got it. Equals. 
in the back, the people that said it, Linda, no, Linda, Linda already asked Linda. Oh, there is that girl sitting all the way there. What's your name again? Leslie. Leslie, I love your name. Thank you. Leslie, what are we, what are we going to use here? To take the derivative. Something that starts with poop, 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 poop. Which one? No. Maybe pi? Pi? No, what is it? The product, product rule because it's a product. So, how does the product rule go, guys? First, first I wrote it. Times. 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 What the heck is the derivative of n of x? One over x. That's it, right, guys? No. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Plus. All n of x. Times. Y prime. Do I solve for y prime? Yes. yes. No, first plug these guys, that's easier. <laughs> plug x equals 1, when you plug and y equals 2, plug x equals 1, and what else? Y equals and y equals 2. Why? Because they, they are giving me a point, x the value, this is x comma y, right? You see what I mean, guys? Mm -hmm. Plug x equals 1 and y equals 2. So when you plug it, what do you have? 1 over 1? One? 1. one. Plus y prime equals two. Two times divide one. two times what? Times one. Two times one, which is two, plus ln of one, right guys? Yeah. Times y prime. Ln of one is yeah. very is a very special number. The graph of the logarithm goes like this, and this is one. Mm -hmm. Ln of one is ln of 1 is right here, it's 0. Got it. So in fact, this cancels out. So we have 1 plus y prime equals 2. So 1 plus a number gives me 2. Who the heck is the number? 1. Look, 1 plus a, one plus a guy equals 2. Who the heck is a guy? 1. one that's it. That was easier, right, guys? All right, go ahead and copy, guys. Am I going to give you a problem where you have to apply logarithms? Maybe, but I'm not going to tell you. Like, you see something like this, apply a in both sides. Yes? And how does that relate to, like, the question I'm here with x? Oh, this was harder. The one that is there, it's easier. Do you want me to do that super fast? Did you come to my class today? Yes. Wait, we didn't class today? No, we did a different one. Uh, X squared plus Y squared equals 25. So find Y prime at the point what? What is it? Y prime. 